Hello friends. Today we are here. The beautiful mountain cemetery. One of my favorites. Green Mountain. We're on the hill and we're here to tell a story about a very dynamic man. who was a leading pioneer in the Big Bang Theory. George Gamow was born in Odessa, the Russian Empire, 1905. His father taught Russian and his mother taught geography and history at a girls' school. George learned French, German, and English in college. He was fluent and wrote papers in all the languages, but used English for technical writings and general audience. He studied at the Institute of Physics and Math in Odessa and University of Leningrad, 1923 to 29. He met and married a woman physicist he nicknamed Rho, the Greek letter. They spent two years trying to leave with or without permission from Russia. In 1932, they tried to kayak a 250 kilo paddle across the Black Sea to Turkey, but bad weather got in the way. Also, other attempts to Norway. I was in Europe also. I wanted to take a cruise around the horseshoe of Russia, Norway, Sweden, New Zealand, and it was going to be a great cruise. It was only going to be $500. Back in 1995, maybe six, we couldn't go because a hurricane came through. So the weather there is quite tricky. Luckily, in 1933, he was granted permission to attend the Solvay Conference in Brussels. He really wanted his wife to come, so he just kept trying and trying and trying. And they finally gave him passports for both of them to go. It was their chance. They extended their stay with help from the famous Marie Curie and other physicists. And he gained temporary work at the Curie Institute it was 1934 and they were able to move to the United States where he became a professor at University George Washington. And he sent for Edward Teller to work with him on the Gamo Teller selection rule for beta decay. He published many works and major scientific writings with Mario Schenberg and Rolf Alfner and he turned his studies towards astrophysics and cosmology. Schanberg and Alfer were the leading theoretical physicists of the time, and Alfer was one of his students. In 1935, Gamow's son was born, Igor Gamow. In 1940, George became a naturalized citizen. During World War II, he taught physics and he was a consult for the U.S. Navy. His interests were in stellar evolution and the solar system. George Gamow gathered all this information of his studies and came to his total theory, an inverse process calculating rates of thermonuclear reaction. Gamow's work led to the now very popular Big Bang Theory. He employed Alexander Friedman and George Lemaitre 
of non-static solutions of Einstein's gravity theories, where the universe is of matter, density, and spatial curvature. And I'm sorry, I hope I got that all right. And I hope you get my point. But wow, what a mind, what a mind this guy had. It was just amazing. Gamo advanced this theory for further study. The universe dominated by radiation over matter, creation of chemical elements and concentration of matter into galaxies. Basically, he calculated fundamental par parameters as speed of light, Newton's law, summer fields, and Planck's theories. What I really liked about his work is that he had other people study with him and learn with him about the universe, the solar system, and all the theories that go into of mathematics and physics. I mean, it was just, it was just really, really interesting to read about George Gamow. Gamow advanced this theory to further study for universe dominated by radiation over matter, creation of chemical elements and concentration of matter into galaxies. Basically, he calculated fundamental parameters as speed of light, Newton's law, summer fields, and Planck's theories. And I don't know if you can hear, but the, the college band is practicing. As we come to his grave, be quiet for a moment so we can listen. published a paper for the journal Nature in 1948 and developed equations for the mass and radius of a primordial galaxy containing a hundred billion stars, each with a mass comparable of the sun. I mean, can you imagine thinking about all this and studying where now we, we know all about it and we're still learning about it. But back in his time, we had no idea. It was all new. And I'm sure for Mr. Gamos, it was exciting. And he, from his books and his publications, he was very excited about it and he also was quite comical in some of his publications where they were very serious and you can tell that he wasn't all the time a very serious guy. He was actually kind of a, a comical guy and I'll get into that in a minute. Gamow's work led to the now very popular Big Bang Theory. He employed Alexander Friedman and George Lemaitre non-static solutions of Einstein's gravity theories where the universe is of matter density. During World War II, he taught physics and he was a consult for the U.S. Navy. His interests were in stellar evolution and the solar system. George Gamow 
gathered all this information of his studies and came to his total theory, an inverse process calculating rates of thermonuclear reaction. From this theory, he wrote 20 papers with help from many physicists, such as Fred Hoyle, elements heavier than lithium are largely produced in thermonuclear reactions in stars and supernovas with the help of his student, Ralph Alpher. In 1948, they published their findings in their Alpher Base Gamo paper. And as you heard from before, he also named them the Three Musketeers. I thought that was just really cool. In 1948, he published a paper explaining his equations of proton and deneutron from thermal neutrons. His study of the density of matter at the time of nucleosynthesis and mass and diameter of early galaxies. In 1953, he wrote another paper on background radiation. In 1967, more of his work along with Alpha and Robert Herman, fellow student physicist and theoretical physicist, then a discovery of cosmic background radiation by Penzias and Wilson, where no credit was given to Gamow. And he was a little disillusioned by that. But as we have seen with stories of the world and stories of the pioneers of our history, you don't give up. Gamow didn't ever give up also going into studies of DNA and RNA, genetic codes. In 1956, Gamow moved his family to Boulder, University of Colorado. He founded a physical science study committee. And on a little side note, he divorced his first wife and married the editor of his papers in 1958. In 1961, he wrote The Atom and Its Nucleus then writing textbooks and books on science for the public in general. Gamow became ill with diabetes, liver problems, and he had surgeries on his circulatory system. He wrote to his student, Ralph Alpher, how much pain his optimum gave him and asked him for help in remembering his early concepts and theories which may have meant that he was forgetting. August 19, 1968, Gamow passed at age 64. The physics de department tower at University of Colorado is named for him. Gamow was a well-known prankster. A fellow physicist acknowledged Gamow's great scientific thinking and also to quote, his zany, card trick playing, limerick singing, booze swilling, practical joking, giant imp, unquote. And he was a big guy. And from the pictures that you've probably seen, he was often smiling, laughing, and he often inlaid humorous twists in his serious science papers, which I was saying before that he found that his papers were always so scientific and, and serious that he would put a comical note in with the paper. His son, Igor, became a professor of microbiology of University of Colorado and inventor. Gamow was an atheist, but in the end, he thought about the Big Bang. He thought about there, there was more radiation in the world, in the universe, than matter. So he was a scientist. And I felt like he had to be on that train of thinking so that he could come up with his theories 
be a pioneer in how our universe and solar system was formed, but from a mathematical point of view. I mean, it was just, it was just amazing reading about this man. In 1956, he was awarded the Kalinga Prize for the UNESCO for popularizing science in his Mr. Tompkins series of books, 1939 and 1967, and his book, One, Two, Three, Infinity. His works and writings were donated to the George Washington University in 1996. And here is his grave. It's his second wife, Barbara Perkins Gamow. George Gamow, 1904-1968. And a bench, too. Mark his family grave. Rest easy, pioneer scientists of the world, the universe, and the solar system. May you rest easy. And we remember your story. Thank you. I always put some little presents at the amazing people that I tell their stories. And I would love to tell everyone's story. And I will tell everyone I can that has that extraordinary story that I can find and I can I can tell. Mr. Gamow's first wife, I will link her book down below. She wrote a bunch of poems about their love affair and traveling from Russia to the United States. And her great granddaughter put all these poems together and put them in a book and wrote about it. And I I will link it below if you would be interested. I am ordering it and I'm going to read it myself. Possibly in a few videos I will do a review on that book since I'm also a poet and a writer. Thank you for joining me on my story of Mr. George Gamow pioneer of the Big Bang Theory. If you could, please like and subscribe and share my videos. I'll be bringing more cool, interesting and motivational stories to you soon. Thank you and be careful out there.